Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm thrilled to guide you through combining the incredible features of ControlNet and Flux within Comfy UI on Google Colab for free. Let's get started. First, click on the notebook link in the video description below to access Google Colab. Once inside, click on the drop-down arrow next to the Connect button, select Change Runtime Type, and choose T4 GPU as the hardware accelerator. And then click Connect to initialize the environment. Then, locate the first cell in the notebook and click the Play button to execute it. This step will begin installing Comfy UI and some essential nodes needed for the workflow. After setting up Comfy UI, the next step is to download the required models. Pay close attention here. Currently, only three control net models are compatible with the free version of Google Colab due to resource constraints. These models are Depth, Canny, HED. Depending on your needs, you can download a specific model by uncommenting its corresponding line in the code. For example, if I want to download the control net depth model, I will remove the number sign at the beginning of the line and run the cell. Once the models are downloaded, we can check how much storage space they occupy in Google Drive. A single ControlNet depth model takes up 11.33 gigabytes, so with a free Google Drive, you can only store one model at a time. To use multiple models, consider upgrading your storage plan. And now let's run Comfy UI. And now, let's build the workflow. First, we add the unit loader GGUF node to the workflow. Next, connect the model output port of the unit loader GGUF to the model input port of the CFG guider. The CFG value is set to 8.0 by default. Now, connect the guider port of CFG guider to the guider port of sampler custom advanced. This node handles sampling based on the CFG settings. Next, connect the noise port of random noise to the noise port of sampler custom advanced to generate the initial noise. Now connect the sampler port of k-sampler select to the sampler port of sampler custom advanced. Set the sampler to Euler. Next, connect the sigmas port of basic scheduler to the sigmas port of sampler custom advanced. Set the scheduler to simple and steps to 20. Finally, Connect the latent port of the empty latent image node to the latent image port of Sampler Custom Advanced. Set the width to 768 and height to 1024. Next, connect the output port of Sampler Custom Advanced to the samples port of VAE Decode. This will decode the sampled latent image into a final image. Finally, Connect the image port of VAE decode to the images port of save image. Set a file name prefix like comfy UI to save the final image. Add the clip text encode node and connect conditioning to CFG guider's positive input. Enter your positive prompt. Add another clip text encode node and connect its conditioning output to the negative input of CFG Guider. Enter your negative prompt in the text field. Add the dual clip loader GGUF node and connect its clip output to the clip inputs of both clip text encode nodes. Oh sorry, I made a mistake here. Add the load control net model node to the workflow. Then 
take the control net output from this node and connect it to the control net input of the apply control net node. Connect positive and negative from apply control net to CFG guider. Connect the conditioning outputs of the clip text encode nodes to the positive and negative inputs of the apply control net node. Connect the image output of the AIO or preprocessor node to the image input of the apply control net node. Connect image from load image to AIO or preprocessor to upload the input image. Connect the VE input of apply control net node to the VE output of the load VAE. With that, we have successfully built the workflow. And now, let's test the following example. Since we have loaded the control net depth model, we select depth anything preprocessor in the AIO or preprocessor node to match the model. Enter the positive prompt, for example, a beautiful girl sitting confidently at a desk in a cozy modern studio. She has long natural hair. Enter the negative prompt to remove unwanted elements. For example, text, watermark, blur to exclude text, watermarks and blurriness from the image. I adjusted the output image size to match the dimensions of the input image. Now click Q to generate the image. I forgot to connect the model output of the UNET loader to the model input of the basic scheduler. OK, let's try again. Here's the result. The image has been generated successfully. The results preserve the input's depth and structure using the control net depth model while aligning with the prompts. And that's it. You've now learned how to use control net with Flux in Comfy UI on Google Colab for free. Thanks for following along and happy creating.